Hey everybody, just before this video starts, I just wanted to give you a quick heads up about the audio during this video. Uh, for some strange reason, my audio sounds a little distorted, and I just wanted to give you a quick heads up. It shouldn't ruin your enjoyment of the video, I'm hoping it doesn't, but I just wanted to put this in here quickly at the start of the video, just so you can give you a heads up, just in case you're wondering what was going on with the audio. So again, a huge apology to that, as you can see, I have fixed it now, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so this video is going to be a continuation of my last video where I showed off my brand new Sony OLED television. Now, what I didn't say in that video was when the day we went to buy this television, uh, we actually went in and we asked, was there any deals going on the TV? So they checked it up for us and they said that there was a, they could take 100 euro uh, off the price. And we were ecstatic about that. So uh, we started thinking about what can we do with the 100 euro that we kind of saved on the television. And then it kind of just clicked with me very quickly. And I said to Ellen, let's go and get a brand new backlight uh, for this new TV. And that's what we've done. So we got here, the, it's the Govi uh, Immersion LED backlight. Now what makes this special, makes it incredibly special is uh, you get a camera uh, with this sesh. And what it does is uh, when you attach it to your TV, it detects whatever colors this, whatever the camera, whatever colors the camera sees on your TV, it will project it onto the back of your wall. Uh, now, this is something I've been wanting to get into ever since I actually done my video there a couple of months ago uh, on a backlight that I got from my previous television. Because I did say in that, uh, that video how uh, immersive uh, movies came when I actually had them backlights on. It just looked, they looked remarkable. They seemed to enhance uh, the picture quality. So when I heard about these, this was something that I desperately wanted to get into. And I was more than happy to wait because I was more than happy with the backlight that I had on my previous television. But seeing when we got a new one, it only felt right that we actually got this, uh, this set. So what I'm going to do, folks, is before I get talking about how to set this up and, you know, um, what I thought of it, I am going to take us around the contents inside this box and then I will come back and uh, explain to you about the setup of it because it will make it a lot easier for me when you know exactly this, what's inside this box. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take us around this first and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. Right, so I'm gonna open this up straight away. Uh, no point showing the box off, uh, no need to. So uh, the first thing you're gonna see inside is your, uh, it's your reel that holds all your, um, your LED lights. So this should be this, there should be enough lights in here to do up to a 55 to 65 inch TVs. Uh, right under it then you have, uh, you've got your user, your user manual. Uh, you've got a couple of instructions of how to put the lights on your TV. So uh, right, we have a small box here. I'll actually open this up and I'll see what's inside it. So uh, right, so this is kind of like almost like the control panel. Uh, this is where you actually connect everything. you got your USB there and that's for your plug. And uh, yeah, you have three settings there. You have a power button, and I know one's for music and one's for movies or something like that. I think it's something like that anyway. So uh, yeah, as you can see in the back of it, this actually sticks onto the back of your TV. So uh, right, so that is the control uh, the control panel, I suppose. Uh, you could say uh, right. So lift this box up here if I can. Uh, here we go. And inside here you have your uh, plug socket. Oh, your, your plug, sorry, not your socket, uh, your plug, and that goes directly into your control panel. Uh, you've got a couple of these yokes here, it just helps you uh, just secure your uh, LED lights. It gives you that extra security, basically, for your LED lights on your TV. And then you've also got this uh, alcohol rub. Uh, make sure you use that before you put your lights on. And then over here we have uh, another small box. And let's have a look and see what's in here. Right, so we have uh, these foam pads. So what these are used for is they, you actually stick them onto each uh, corner of your television. And these are actually used to help you calibrate your uh, camera to your television. And these foam pads actually help out. So uh, dust, I know these are very sticky and apparently when you're putting them on your TV, you want to put them on very, very gently. So uh, yeah, that's your pads there anyway. And then last but not least, I presume this must be the camera. 
so right here we go there we go so that is your yeah that is your 1080p camera and uh, again you can stick this onto either the bottom of your tv or the top of your tv just be wide though make sure you get it right straight away because this stuff is apparently incredibly sticky and it's very hard to take off uh, once you do have on Right, folks, so that's everything that you get inside this box. So I'm going to take his back now and show you what the setup looks like on my TV. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is everything that's inside this box. And it just makes things a bit easier to talk about now, now that you know what was inside the box. Right, so the setup for this is very, very simple. You take your LED lights, you put them around the edge of your television. You take the control panel that I showed off as well. You stick that onto the back of your television. Then you have your camera. And we couldn't put the camera onto the top of our television because the bezel is so thin. Uh, so we had to stick it on the bottom where it was a lot thicker. And I have to tell you, is I think the camera looks better uh, on the bottom. It almost gets lost. Uh, you can't even see it there. Uh, where I think if you put it on the top, you'd probably notice it a lot more. So I do recommend putting that camera in the bottom. So what you do is then you connect your camera to your control panel. And then you plug your control panel in. And bang, you are ready to go. So the first thing you want to do, do, do is go onto your phone and download the, the Govi app. And then what you want to do is, uh, when I showed the unboxing of this, I showed these little pieces of uh, foam. And um, so what you want to do is uh, you take each one of these and you stick them to a, each corner of your television. And then you put it into the middle, the middle left side, the middle right side and top and bottom. Now, when I say stick them on, folks, be very, very gentle. Uh, just lightly put them onto your television because you want these to come off very, very easy. So go as light as you can. So when you have all that set up, basically what happens is when you go onto that GoV app and you calibrate the, the camera, what it does is it basically takes a snapshot of your, it shows the viewing angle of your camera. And you, all of a sudden you will see then all these orange spots on this snapshot and basically what happens is you'll see this line coming out and basically you just attach the line to each one of these foam markers and that is it that is your camera cal calibrated and then you just remove the foam uh, foam off and then that's it your tv is set and it's ready to go and if you have done it correctly your tv should start looking like this <laughs> folks so that gives you an indication of how good this can look uh, when you do calibrate it right now as it, when it comes to movies i would love to sit here now and be able to talk to you about movies uh with this this backlight and show it to you but unfortunately as you know if i start showing clips from movies i am going to get a copyright claim uh, so i can't show anything when it comes to movies all i can do is just talk about it now i think when it comes to movies i think there's just a little bit of um 
just temper your expectations slightly, slightly when it comes to movies. Uh, you have to bear in mind that there is only so many lights they can actually show on these backlights. So naturally, when you're watching a movie, uh, you know, certain colors might come on the screen where the, cam the, the, the colors are just simply not on the backlight. So they'll give their best representation of that color. So just bear that in mind. But I have to tell you is 90% of the time, 90, maybe 95% of the time, uh, everything that it's, the screen is showing this camera, it is picking it up fantastic it really is it looks amazing um it just adds this this great sense of immersion when you're watching movies now uh, it is so fun and it, it, particularly when you do get the right movie i actually sent a few clips out to a few friends where we were watching friday the 13th and there is a scene in it where it starts raining and all of a sudden you start getting thunder and lightning and it's just great the way it's done i wish i could show it to you on the video but all of a sudden your black lights if the scene the screen is very dark um you know that the, the lights will be all off they'll be basically yeah they'll, they'll, yeah there'll be no color coming from them and then all of a sudden you'll get this clatter of lightning and then the entire room will just go blue uh, just for that split second you will not believe the timing uh with this camera the way it picks, it picks up colors and then projects it onto the wall. It is imperfectly in sync with your television. And uh, uh, we've had so much fun with it. It was one thing getting a new television, but to get these lights with it as well, it really is, uh, <laughs> it really is incredible. It's a sight to behold. And uh, honestly, I cannot praise these lights enough. If you are into these backlights and you want that extra bit of immersion, I recommend going over and checking these out. What I will do is I will leave a link uh, in the description below uh, to Amazon uh, where I bought these. Uh, if you are interested in picking them up, they can be a little expensive. They're around 80, 90 euro. But I can tell you this now, folks, they're a hell of a lot cheaper than some of the other options out there where it goes into hundreds and hundreds. And um, this does a fantastic job. Uh, considering the price so i think it's definitely worth checking out there is other things these can do as well but i bought them for mainly uh movies but apparently you can uh you can have a t music going as well and apparently they play along with the music apparently they can actually detect sound as well uh, so as soon as they hear something they will light up a certain way there's a lot to be done with them uh, and i think there is a lot to be played with uh, when it comes to picking these up but like i said i only wanted them for movies and from what i've been seeing uh i think it's absolutely incredible and uh i hope some of the demos that i've just showed you will give you an idea of how good this light can be so that is it folks that is it so as per usual if you did like this video please do give us a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on these lights and uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.